Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Irina Lawrence Mathias, um, and I am co owner and second shepherdess in command of Flying Fibers. We are a wool shop and farm located in Wrightsville, Pennsylvania, which is in York County. Um, and this is the second video to our sock knit along for 2022. So, my first video is just a little introduction to our pattern. So we just had our first knit along gathering this evening and after uh, working with some of the people there, I just figured I would go ahead and record some information um, on the Turkish cast on using double point just to show you guys so that you can feel confident going into working your curio socks by Andrea Mowry. Um, my little sidekick is snoozing next to me. I feel very grateful for that. Um, so she was a little bit fussy during the knit along gathering, which is also so why I'm going ahead and filming this now that she is sleeping peacefully. Um, so let's get started. So during the knit along gathering, I was using white yarn, which I think was making it a little bit difficult. So I'm going to use um, some multicolored yarn for this round. Start my share. Here we go. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. Um, you don't have to worry about uh, leaving too long of a tail. It, it's just to get everything going. So we're just going to make a little slip knot here. And then we're going to use three double points. We're going to use two for the initial cast on and then the third to knit with. So I'm just going to put this out of the way. So the needle closest to me, I'm going to call my front needle and then the back needle the one farthest away obviously so we're going to slip our slip knot onto the front needle and we're going to leave it towards the left side of the front needle i'm going to tension that up here okay and now what i want to do is i want to take my working yarn so it's the yarn that is attached to my ball of yarn over here and all i'm going to do is i'm just going to hold these parallel and i'm going to just wrap my yarn around so i'm doing the baby size so i want to make sure that i am wrapping this around eight times total because i'm going to have one stitch that's part of my slip knot and then we're going to wrap one two three four five six seven eight and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to count and i'm going to have one two three four five six seven eight and then on the back side, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and now number 16, so that it doesn't sort of get away from you. What we're going to do is we're actually going to bring him up and then bring him down through the center of your needles here. So now we're going to get ready to work what I like to call our foundation row. So we're going to pick up our third double point and the first row is always really tricky. I did this a few times before I got the hang of it. Um, but the thing is, is we're going to look at this as like section one and section two of knitting section one and section two combined and make an entire one row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to go in through the front door. So I'm going to just treat this guy as a stitch in through the front door and I'm gonna come between these two needles here. So in through the front door, I'm gonna take my working yarn, which is also the last stitch I had just wrapped. I'm gonna put my pointer finger on that back, on the stitch on the back needle, just so it doesn't go away. Cause I need my working yarn to now um, run around the back. We're gonna peek through the window and off jumps Jack. And I am just sliding it off of that front needle and so now I want to sort of tension up my yarn again and we're going to go through and we're going to keep knitting down our front needle the whole way down until we get to that slip knot which we are also going to work and it really is it's a it's a bit finicky please don't stress about it okay so I've done my first row so this is, I'm gonna have it facing so that my working yarn is sitting on top like this. So I have my first row knit and my tail is here. So I've worked that slip knot. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this so that my working yarn is now on the back needle, which was my front needle. And I'm getting ready to work across this new front needle. Same thing, in through the back door, in through the front door, run around the back, which is also just between these stitches like so. 
And we're going to grab our working yarn and knit that. And then once you do the first row, you're going to start to add in your other stitches or your other double points. Just going to knit across this row. This section of the row, I guess I should say. We still haven't completed one whole row until we get to the end of this. Okay, so we have now completed one row, our very first row, and you can tell that because we've worked across section one of our knitting. Here is our slip knot from our initial cast on, section two of our knitting, and that is one whole row. So we're going to turn our work again and get ready to knit the first row of the pattern. And if I flip this over to what is sort of like the outside facing, it looks like a sort of double ended plane of stockinette stitch, um, if you can see that there. So this is where I sort of like to start to add in, like I said, the other needles. So maybe just to add a little bit of uh, room, you wanna maybe break up like the first section sort of halfway in. Okay, so the first row on the, after you've done your cast on is just a knit row. So if you are using double points, this is the perfect time to, um, this is the perfect time to add that in because you're not having to do any increases or anything. Um, I really love the Chow Goo stainless steel double points. You can find them on our online store or in our bricks and mortar store. Uh, they are really, really lovely. So let me just get my fourth needle here. And then eventually you can move to working on four needles. Um, just for the moment, I'm just gonna do three. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to add this to my first section. I'm just going to split this up here. So we're just going to pick this up now and we're going to go in through the front door on this first stitch. Um, Andrea recommends putting a removable marker, like clipping it to the first stitch of your first row so that you always remember where you are because the tail is technically like on the other end of your row. Um, when I was working this, I kind of actually knew that like where the tail was, was like the middle of my row. So that's just something to consider. So I'm just gonna knit halfway through these, pause and add in my next double point. And that's just gonna allow us to work more smoothly as we keep increasing from here on out. Then we're gonna turn, we're gonna work our next row. We're gonna wanna make sure that we do pick up our working yarn. And we're just gonna keep going like that until we have a toe. That section of stockinette if on the outside of my work and then inside I've got this reverse stockinette. I'm gonna turn my work and get ready to work my first increase row. All right, thank you everybody.